All right, so Dan, I can see both arms here. So why don't you tell me what's the difference between these two arms and uh, which one is the older and which one's the newer arm? They're actually, they're both brand new. One is made by Schilling Robotics Schilling. and the other one is made by Kraft Manipulator and we just put that on this year. And they're both seven function, six degree of freedom manipulators. Uh, the one on the starboard side is a spatially correspondent teleoperated manipulator, which is the controller that is a kinematic replica of the manipulator itself. We're really happy with both of them. They're significant improvement. The starboard arm was the oldest known working craft. It required a lot of love to keep it operational. We work it pretty hard through the years, especially on engineering jobs where we're kind of doing a lot heavier operations than uh, than we are here, you know, picking up rocks and taking samples. We're being very delicate with it. When we do engineering work, it's really hard on the manipulator. You have 6,000 pounds of vehicle behind it and you're fighting with something to, you know, shove into a hole or, or trying to even trying to plug a electrical flying lead in. You're, you're using the full force of the manipulator. Yeah. That's probably one of the reasons why it lasted as long as it did. It, it, you know, it did science work most of its life. Or what, six, seven dives in, you you feeling pretty good? Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. The manufacturers, both of them have made a lot of improvements over the years. So, you know, it would be like a car you bought 20 years ago versus a modern car. It's a, a big difference.